Well, a new Indiana law is establishing a statewide task force that's aimed at improving access to housing. CBS First Kristen Eskow shows us what could come from it. I was the only homeless person in the homeless shelter with a car. Randy Shelton says he was homeless for eight months after an eviction notice was filed by his Columbus landlord in 2019. Shelton, a veteran on a fixed income, says he struggled to find a new apartment. There's places out there, but they're not affordable. We're talking rent is over $1,000 a month. Experts say access to housing became more of a problem after the pandemic began. Data from Princeton University's eviction lab shows Indiana is among the leading states for evictions throughout the pandemic. Stephanie Zhang from Hoosier Action works with Hoosiers searching for homes. We have member Hoosier Action members who have waited for two to five years on waiting lists just to get on Section 8 or affordable housing. One measure lawmakers passed this session seeks to find solutions. A new housing task force will study access and affordability. It will consist of lawmakers from both parties and advocates for renters, landlords, and homeowners. State Representative Doug Miller says the group will provide recommendations, which may include new legislation. I wouldn't be surprised to have it take a look at what local regulations are in place that are currently impeding housing growth at an affordable the group will issue its final report by November 1st. Activists hope to see lawmakers take action next year to help with higher rates. Imagine if we had some type of policy in place to offset that increase, um, that extra $500. At the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you. Governor Holcomb also signed a bill into law this month that allows some eviction court records to be sealed. That would include situations when the case is dismissed or if the judgment is in favor of the tenant.